uh, Seth come up, and Seth, if you don't know, is the T-E-O, and I did not write that, I'm just reading it, don't throw anything, the T-E-O of Honest T, uh, and he's one of those people who's combined a series of passions, his passion for business, his passion for health, and his passion for social responsibility into his company, Honest T. Now, 13 years ago, he and his former Yale School management professor, Barry, is it Nalmeth? Nalbuff. Nalbuff. Uh, launched Honest Tea out of his kitchen. So actually you started mixing the stuff in your own kitchen. So when you talk about small business, he's been there, right? And then he's actually been able to grow it in, as you know, and have heard that it was just sold to Coca-Cola. And so he's going to tell us about that journey from when he started a small business like many of us here and has grown it. He's kind of lived the entrepreneurial dream. So without further ado, let's have Seth. So welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Good morning. Um, it's really nice to be able to connect with uh, a lo our local community. We uh, have always been proud to be based in Bethesda. As Bruce mentioned, I did start the company out of my house. And when I did, I remember there was a, um, early on, started getting approached by some private equity investors who, um, you know, often like to present themselves as being very knowledgeable and, and uh, have all kinds of great ideas. So one of the ideas, one of the investors I spoke with early on was, he says, well, you've got this natural foods company, you know, and it's healthy, and, you know, you really don't want to be have an address on your bottle that says Bethesda, Maryland, you should, you know, say Vermont or New Hampshire. <laughs> I said, well, number one, that's not honest. <laughs> uh, and number two, I said, what's wrong with Bethesda? And we've always been proud of our, our local roots here, and in fact, just this month, this just oh, I'll talk quite a bit about um, what's happened this month, but this month when we did have the event with, to announce the transaction with Coca-Cola, we invited Ike Leggett to join us and we unveiled what will be our new bottle. Um, you'll notice that this plastic bottle has a, uh, a strange base on the bottom. It is, uh, it's a, I actually have, I'll show you some slides about it, but it's a challenge, it was a challenge because um, we needed that base to hold that, it's a thinner bottle, and so we needed that dome to help create pressure to maintain structure, otherwise the bottle ovalized. Well, um, the problem is a lot of our consumers would email us saying, hey, you're selling the air just like those bags of potato chips. When you're not so, that's not on, and then literally, you know, how can you call yourself honest tea when you're putting all this air in the bottle? Well, we didn't change the liquid weight. Uh, but anyway, uh, we understood there was a perception issue. So we changed the design, our new design will have a flat bottom, and the flat bottom allows us to, it's a new mold, and so our, um, designer said, well, you know, is there anything you want to emboss on the bottle? You could put the words honest on it or organic. I said, no, what I want to put on the bottom is established Bethesda, Maryland, 1998. And so 